Hey, I'm John from Great Fermentations, and this morning we are brewing on Blickman's new Tower of Power unit. The way this works is the brains of the system right here are individual pit controllers that are monitoring both our mash and our hot liquor tank temperature. Connected to the pit controllers are temperature probes going to both the mash ton and the hot liquor tank, and we have gas solenoids that the tower is automatically activating when it needs to fire the burners to maintain our temperatures. As the tower unit needs to fire the burners on and off, it will automatically start the flow of gas, and there's an electric igniter right here that this orange wire is attached to. The piezoelectric igniter will spark the burner, and it also sense to make sure that there is a flame. If no flame is detected for eight to 10 seconds, it will automatically cut your flow of gas as a safety feature. So right now what we're doing is I am getting my strike water up to temperature. I'm doing that by, I have the temperature set right here on the mash controller, and I'm recirculating from the hot, or the mash ton, recirculating through the pump. There's a temperature controller right here, or a temperature monitor right here. We're right up to temperature, so here in just a moment we can start our doughing process. All right, what I've done is 10 minutes has elapsed on our mash, so now I have turned the pump on and started our recirculation. We're getting a reading of what the actual mash temperature is right here in just a moment. I'm going to dial this back down to 122 degrees, which is where our first step of our mash will be, and here in just a minute or two it will fall back down there, and that will be our first step of the mash. One of the features on Blickman's pump tower is this flow meter right here. It does a couple of things. First of all, you know, you can see your flow, which means that you can repeat how quick you're recirculating and sparging each time, which is nice. Other cool feature, though, is this orange thing right here. This, uh, is actually a flow alarm. I've got this set so that if my flow rate as I'm recircling on the mash drops any, for example, if my sparge is starting to stay, this will actually sound a buzzer, which will uh, you know, alert me that we're gonna start having a problem and I need to take corrections. I can show you an example here. I'm gonna throttle it down just a little bit. and you'll hear the alarm going off as the flow starts. Since we talked last, we've completed our mash out, and we're now in the process of fly sparging. The tower unit actually has a three-way ball valve. It's as simple as switching the ball valve from the direction on the left over to here. I'm using this ball valve right here to control my flow. I'm running off at about a rate of a half gallon per minute. There's a silent feature on this alarm on the tower setup. It's in silent right now so that it's not constantly warning us that we have a low, uh, a low flow rate. So once this process is complete, we'll fire up our burners and we'll start a boil.